I wrote and released a book about self-discipline. Quite how I ended up releasing it, God knows, because I sat on it for about 18 months, terrified of putting it out there to the public. And the main reason I was terrified of putting it out there to the public was because self-discipline, it's linked to a lot of things, but when you think of the word self-discipline, you often think of weight loss and fitness. And I felt like an utter fraud because I had a nervous breakdown three years ago, I piled on weight, I come for eight, and developed quite a serious binge eating disorder. When I say serious, not like bulimia or anything, but just unable to stop eating at points and using food as a tool, as a, as a crux to kind of feel better, to fill an emotional hole here. So because I was piling on weight, I mean, I piled on four stone in about six months. It was a very short space of time. And because I had no self-discipline around food, even though I was honest in my book and I wrote about that very struggle in my book, I just felt like a complete fraud. I still do right now as I'm saying it. But in the last few weeks, I have decided that I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not counting calories. I'm not standing on weighing scales. I'm not doing low carb, no carb, Weight Watchers, Slimming World, whatever. I'm not checking in with a fitness coach. I'm not reading every nutrition book there is. I write for nutritionists, I write for fitness coaches. I feel like I could take a personal trainer's exam tomorrow and pass because my knowledge is amazing. But it was all just too much. It was so much noise, so much conflicting information. As I said, I work for fitness people. If you Google the word diet, two billion things come up within seconds in Google, two billion items. The information is out there on the internet, but my problem was I had too much information about it. So over the last couple of weeks, I've decided to just completely bin it all off and focus on, for the first time in my life, getting to 37, being able to look in the mirror and truly like what I see. Not my appearance, but all of me, inside and out, because I'm the happiest I've ever been in every other area of my life, apart from the way I feel in here. And I think society plays a big part in that. You know, us women, we are bombarded with, you're not good enough. Basically, everything we're told is we're not good enough. Do your hair this way, colour your hair this way, wear this makeup, wear this particular outfit, lose weight, go to the gym, tone up, get a peachy arse, because essentially, you're not good enough. I want to feel good enough. And feeling good enough starts in here and in here. So that's what this is going to be about. I'm going to drag you all along for the ride with me. It's another chance to show off. Fuck it, whatever. Um, I've no idea where this is going to take me. I've no idea what I'm going to do each week. I am very blessed to be constantly inspired and surrounded by people who have overcome adversity, who've healed themselves, who've just carved out amazing lives for themselves. Today, I went and spent the day with the most amazing lady who, I think I can badger as my coach because she acts like my second brain. She knows my brain better than I know it myself. And she is also a um, hypnotherapist as well. So I've been listening to her voice every night when I go to bed for a long time. Her name is Laura Powner, and we've become really good friends over the past year. Happy way is, is it where you is it because you're under the it's not freckle I have got blush on. That's all it is. It's a video. <laughs> Laura is an accountant, chartered accountant, she climbed the ranks, became financial director, and then, but also in the background, has this, I don't know if you believe in this, if you're watching this, I personally do, but she has um, a psychic ability, and is very intuitive, and feels people's energies, and it's something that she had suppressed for such a long time, that it made her ill, and now she's doing it as a business, she is helping entrepreneurs get out of their own way, to understand their own self-worth, 
to increase their net worth because she's still a money mindset expert. She's still a chartered accountant. She still runs the spreadsheets and the numbers, but she does it while turning over Oracle cards and giving you messages from your relatives who've passed. And it's fucking brilliant. <laughs> it's mad and it's brilliant. And it's, she has helped me massively in the time that we've been friends and that I've, I've been a client and I've paid for her services. She's just fab. So Laura is the person who has inspired me to start this vlog because there's no time like the present. Because I know that my lack of self-worth issues have caused a lot of pain in myself over the last few years. And I'm just coming out of it now. I'm just starting to step into doing what I was supposed to do. And I think this is what I'm supposed to do with no expectation on weight loss. That's really important because a lot of people keep saying to me at the moment, oh, now you've binned it all off. The weight's going to fall off you. I don't give a shit. Honestly, I genuinely don't give a shit. I went and bought some beautiful clothes last week in a 16 and I didn't freak out. For the first time ever, I didn't freak out when I saw those numbers because they are two stupid little numbers and I will not let them piss me off and defy me anymore. So I bought a few pairs of trousers, a couple of tops in a 16 that bloody well fit. And I went out at the weekend and everybody went, oh my God, you look amazing. Yes, because I'm wearing clothes that bloody fit me, that feel good, that are made well, great fabrics. And I've been putting lipstick on as well. I'm not now because it's now five past bloody two in the morning, but I'm wearing lipstick and putting makeup on and doing my hair. You know, even, even my hair has been a part of learning to accept myself. This is, this is my natural hair. And it's taken me 16 months to get it like this. It's a bit fluffy now because it's late at night, but it's called the Curly Girl Method. And when I first started it, I joined all these like curly girl groups online. And there were posts by people like, oh my God, this has changed my life. And I'm reading it thinking, fuck off, love, it's your hair. But you know what? It's not, it's more than that. It's, this is the way I was meant to be. This is the way I was born. This is good enough. And that's what it comes back down to. I am enough. I am enough. It's an amazing phrase. Tattoo it on your eyelids. It's now five past two. I've been talking crap for far too long. It's late. I should be going to bed. Thank you for watching. Maybe I'll make another. Who knows? I don't really know I'm supposed to end these things because like I do lives in my group. I'm like, bye, like fucking some kind of shit Captain Bird's eye. Um, so yeah, I don't know. How, should, how are you supposed to sign off? So obviously if I was nine I'd be like subscribe and leave a like guys but I'm, I'm 37 so I'm going to sign off every time by saying thanks for watching always remember you are enough is that is the kiss a bit shit? I don't know you are enough you are enough jazz hands you are enough. That'll do. See you later.